What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so, here we are in another double header battle in Sir Chester. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Sword or Shield, you're going to be having some different gym leaders and all that stuff. Here we are in Sword, we're going to be taking on Gordy, the ground type gym leader. And then, you know, a few minutes later from here on in, you know, we're going to be taking on Melanie, the ice type gym leader of you know sir chester and all that stuff so let's go right ahead and take this uh take care of this whole business right here so as you can already tell in the last episode we went through hell and high water and oh god are you serious oh come on this guy he's like oh i lost and it all went to pot <laughs> he lost again what now hop oh man i am so happy to see this there must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I did what I just, uh, what I seen Lee do in battles. Here, take this. It's the rock gym or the rock leaders, uh, the rock leaders league pass. You, you should check the gym leader. You'll have to face too. And here we get Gordy's league card. If you guys are playing Pokemon Shield, you'll get uh, Melanie's uh, league card, which I will be showcasing afterwards. Okay, what do you have to say? And me. I've got to figure out how to put my team once and for all, and no more of this doubting. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'm flipping you off, and uh, yeah, whatever. So, first is first. Talk to this guy. He's going to be giving you a Pokeball of some sort. So let's see what he will give you. A Moon Ball, which, as many of you guys already know, Moon Ball captures any Pokemon that evolves through a Moonstone. And, well, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. We're done. Okay, so... Just like that, guys, we're going to be facing Gordy first. Now, his puzzle's a little bit interesting, so let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Yes, I will accept the mission. Bring it on. We're going to be dressing up into our... Yeah. We're going to be dressing up into our, our, our cool equipment right here. All right. Make sure to receive the trap detector up ahead, too. You'll need it for your gym mission. Okay. All righty. Gym... That's like the trap detector. Since it is a ground type gym, might as well, you know, have some kind of like ground type uh, uh, traps and all that crud, just like in Platinum version. And as you can see right here, bam, it is looking like it is looking like a trap detector. That looks like the item finder. God dang it! Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Sir Chester? Uh, then allow me to explain a little bit about the trap detector you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need is simple. There are, invisible pit, uh, there are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last uh, platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there is a pitfall in front of you. The closer the, the hole, the stronger the vibration. Okay. This is looking like a... Uh, okay, so this is, uh, is going to be simple right here, I guess. Alright, so I'm definitely going to follow the, uh, the outlines right here. And, uh, well... As you can see, I'm feeling the vibrations, but there is the vibrations right there. And, well, go right here and right here. Yes, we're going to be battling our first trainer. So what we're going to do right now is squat, uh, switch out our Pokemon right here and go straight for the next challenge. Bring it on, sister. Hey, you used to walk, uh, you used to walking around at Sir Chester Stadium yet? Not really. Really, not really. Okay, so here we go. Gym Trainer Abigail would like to battle us, and she is coming out with her Bulldore. Now, best way to defeat all these ground slash rock type Pokemon, simple. Water type Pokemon? Well, yeah, grass type Pokemon can actually work too, so let's go with the waterfall attack. Now, keep in mind, if you are facing a rock type Pokemon, they might have that sturdy technique, so just be aware of that. And, well, Bulldore doesn't have that. Okay, alrighty, so that's more experience points for all of us right there. And Abigail has been defeated. I love it. I love it! Okay, so now it is time for us to figure out the way out. And I'm just looking at the diagram right here, so... There we go. And right here. And we're going up here. Okay, so that's round one completed. And after that, it shows you where to go. It actually shows you where you could have fallen and all that stuff. So now we're going to round two right here. And, well, this is going to be a little tougher than usual. So we're going to have to take a few steps upwards right here. Look at that. And we're going right here. 
And we're going to have to face up to the rock right here. And let's see. We're going to have to go right here and upwards. And yes, we have found another trainer. Bring it on. Rock types are really, really amazing. Wait, it's a rock type or? Huh. Never mind. It is a rock type gym. This is the first time in quite some time that we, uh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, first time in a while that, you know, a rock type gym is not featured first as the gym battle. So let's go right ahead and just continue on with these waterfall assaults. Let's go, waterfall. For the win, say goodbye to Crustal. Yeah, buddy. Oh, uh, yes. What now? And, well, we defeated Kira. And, well, it's like, did I make you understand uh, how amazing rock types are? They kind of are. A little bit. Some of them are. Well, these League Pokemon, these Pokemon are, I guess. So let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. And we're going right here. God dang it! So I fall, and I guess, yeah, yeah I guess I went through the wrong area. I kind of did that on purpose, guys. Trust me, I did. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, so here we go, another Pokemon battle, and it's against Gym Trainer Oliver. And, well, he is going to be coming out with his Carcoal. We already know what this Pokemon is capable of, so let's go right ahead and use Michelangelo. Let's get him, Michelangelo. Waterfall for the win. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Say goodbye to Carcoal. And you know what? Thank you. Thank you, Arceus, for the, uh, what you want to call it, the Pokemon jobs, because look at that. My Pokemon are, are learning some pretty badass moves right here. Now, Michelangelo is learning Liquidation. This, uh, this, uh, let's see. The user slams into the target using full force blasts of water. This may also lower the target's defensive stat, which is a benefit to us. So we're going to take away Waterfall. And, okay, so there's probably one thing that's no special attack, so... Let me take a look at it. I gotta take a look at it right afterwards, so let's see. Alright, let's see what let's see what kind of a special stat this is. Let's see, summary. And this one is a physical attack. So this one This one is perfect. Okay, so let us continue on our adventure right here. Okay. Down the middle, right here. Oh crap! And I messed up. Okay, so go straight down the middle right here guys and then go up top hold on just a sec okay so above and look at that pimping ain't easy guys look at pimping ain't easy guys look at that alrighty okay alrighty and as you can see all the pitfalls start to appear which is pretty hilarious and all that crud now we got one more way to go, and this one's going to be a tough one right here because uh, <laughs> it's the longest path you'll ever see right here. So look at that. Okay, so here we are, and now it's foggy, and well, I'm using uh, I'm using the diagram to get past this whole area. And let's see. There we go. Hold on, just a sec. I feel a rock. Right up top. There we go. Okay, so here we are. We're going to find a trainer, right? No, we're not going to find a trainer. But it is foggy, right? And, well, let's see. Right here. Nope. That is incorrect. Nope. Right here. Nope. Good God, where the hell am I? Okay, so let's see. Damn it! And we're going to fall straight on our butts right here. And let's see. Where the hell? Oh, okay, so we go right here. Nope. Oh, okay. I see what it. I see what it is. Feeling a little dyslexic right now, and well, here we are going to be battling a Pokemon trainer. Where the heck is this Pokemon trainer? This is not fair. And look at that, Gym Challenger. I know you're there. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go, another battle, Gym Trainer Windy and. Uh, well, she's going to be coming out with her Pseudo-Wudo Pokemon. Look at this guy. All fossilized and everything. Well, let's go ahead and try out our newest move, Liquidation, right here. Never really tried it out, and... Bam! Super effective. This guy has Sturdy, though. 
So he's going to survive for one more move, and of course he's going to be coming out with Wood Hammer. This is quad quadruple damage right here, which is pretty freaking bad. But unfortunately, he gets a recoil damage. I am feeling happy, and there goes Optimus Prime. Wendy has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. So, let's see. Now our goal is to get to the next area right here. And I have to look for a rock right here. Good gravy. Okay, so they've made this diagram all messed up right here. And, okay, so there it is. And we actually have to go straight to the left right here. To a rock. And, oh, this is the rock. Good gravy. Holy crap! Okay, okay. I can do this. Eye of the mother-loving tiger. Let's see, right here. Damn it. Okay, so my thing is beating so much. Right here. Right here. Okay, so we're going nice and easy. There we go. No, right there. There we go. Okay. I think it's step for step, guys. I'm really scared right here. And what now? Woo! I can see. I can see clearly now. The <laughs> rain is gone. Yeah, buddy. And we finally made it. Oh, yeah. And that is a lot of pitfalls, guys. Look at that. So many goddamn pitfalls. Oh, my God. Okay, so that was ingenious right there. Let's go ahead and start healing my Pokemon. Of course, Michelangelo is going to be the big one right here. And, well, let's go ahead and use Super Potions just to make it a little bit better. And there we go. Okay, so let's get this going. Let's get it on. I'm going to take on the Rock-type Gym Leader. Guy that I actually thought was a Ground-type Gym Leader. <laughs> Okay, so here we are guys. The door will open for us. Here is the future champion. Gym mission cleared. And well, we're going to go straight to our people right now. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay, walking to our people, making sure we're saying hello, hi, hi, how you doing? That's right. And he, whoa, this guy is pretty big. He's a big dude. Alrighty, homeboy. Hey there, the name's Gordy. I admit I feel a little bit bad for doing this to a gym challenger, but I'm going to use this match to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable. So, let's get over with it, challenger. Okay, alrighty. Bring it on. Bring it on, Gordy. So here it is, guys, gym battle number six. Sword version against Go uh, Gordy right here, and he is going to start off with a Barbatical or something like that. And of course, Barba or let's see, let's see, Barbarical, Barbarical. Can't even say the name right. It is a rock and a ground, a rock and water type Pokemon. So right now we can't do anything except we have to switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Optimus Prime. Alrighty, Optimus Prime, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I love the music. Throwing out the fist bump. Yeah, and here comes a Shell Smash, and that right here will decrease its defense, but it will increase its uh, special attack and attack. So you gotta be careful for that one right there, guys. So here we go, drum beating. We're gonna beat you like a Chinese drum, and here comes a Razor Shell. Not so strong, but guess what? Here we go, drum beating. Bam, 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 bam. That's right. Quadruple damage, say goodbye. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, so we defeated this guy. Blitzkrieg levels up, and now it is time for us to take on Shuckle. This guy has incredible defense, so what's going to happen right here is we're going to actually switch back to Michelangelo, because Shuckle is actually weak to water, water steel type and rock type Pokemon, believe it or not. So here we go, Michelangelo, looking like the beast he is. Alrighty, why are you, okay, so why are you battling backwards? Why are you looking at me backwards, homeboy? This is kind of weird. Why are you doing that? I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's this whole cool po pose thing. I don't even know, but here we go. Liquidation. Lowers its, well, it doesn't lower its defense, but it takes care of that. And here comes a rock tomb. 
lowers our speed, and well, let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with the liquidation attack. There we go. Say goodbye to Shuckle. Alrighty, alrighty. There we go. And well, he's gonna be coming out with a stun jeweler. I'm gonna stay right here because, uh, yes, this Pokemon is a pure rock type Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead, take care of business. Let's go, liquidation attack. Let's finish him. And this guy right here is throwing out some. St oh, crud. He is throwing out some pointy stones right here. So now switching out into another Pokemon will actually hurt it. But there goes a liquidation attack. And, well, let's go ahead and finish this guy off again. Here comes a Wonder Room. Really, man? So now our defenses are squid. So let's go right ahead and finish off Stone Jorah. Stone Jorner! I can't even pronounce that name right. But there you go. People are growing levels. That is great. Baconator as well. And, well, he's about to hes about to come out with his strongest Pokemon. I am going to stay right here with Michelangelo. And he's like, not yet. I'm not crumbling into just just yet. We can still battle. Then why are you looking at me from that pose? Jesus, Crimini. All right. Bring it on. It's time. Yeah, buddy. Max Geyser. All right, time to digivolve into our max form right here. Let's get it. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Michelangelo looking like a big old pimp right here. So now it's a battle of the two Pokemon that I have on both versions right here. Oh, damn. And like a mountain boulder, hiya, Gigantamax. Okay, alrighty. He's gonna be Gigantamaxing right here. And, well, unlike other Gigant Gigantamax Pokemon, this guy will have a special form. And look at this. He looks like a goddamn volcano. And that is just scary. He just sounds like a freaking mountain. Okay, so here we go. Max Geyser. Ready to go. Ready to heal. And. There goes Colossal. Didn't even have time to actually attack. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. There we go. <laughs> just faints. Just like that. And look at that. Just like that, I defeat myself a Gordy. And, well, we're increasing more points right here. And, well. <laughs> He's like, I'm back, baby. And, well, there goes Gordy. He is not happy. It is raining. He is not happy at all. He's just like, I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'll be more like falling from there. And we get ourselves a boatload of money. This is so good right here. So good. So after defeating Gordy, he's going to do, you know, the honorable thing. He's like, that was impressive. Rules are rules. Here, take this rock badge. And just like that, guys. Like Ring of Honor, we're going to shake hands because of the sportsmanship. So here it is, guys, our sixth badge in Sword version, the Rock Badge. And now we are able to actually capture Pokemon up to level 50. Oh, don't worry about me. I just need to train harder. That's all. Alrighty. And after you defeat Gordy, you will be able to get this TM, and that is TM48 Rock Tomb. Yes, sir. Alrighty. So it's a good TM and all that crud. And, uh, yeah, we also get ourselves a rock uniform, which, you know, it, it's a killer uniform. I, I kid you not. Okay, guys, so I'll be right back. We're going to be going into the ice-type gym. And it looks like to me, yes, it looks like to me we are going to do the puzzle as well. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so as you can see, same puzzle, but a little bit icy. Trust me on this one, guys. It is not going to be slippery slidey like uh, like the original games here. Now, of course, we already know the rules to this. Those doodads are actually going to, you know, find our little invisible pit, uh, pit halls and all that stuff. So well, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. Now, here we are in the shield version, uh, of, shield, shield version of this gym battle right here, and it is an ice-type gym. So what we're going to do is, uh, well, let's go ahead, ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Krakatoa right here. I do have, uh, well, I, could, I can use Deadshot, 
and Blitzkrieg, but you know what? Krakatoa seems to be the man for the job for this one right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, well, find our way through here. Hopefully we have a better, better chance right here. So moving forward, moving to the side, moving this side, moving forward, and bam, we found ourselves the first trainer. As long as I've got my ice stuff with me, I can still totally, or I can stay totally chill. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Gym trainer Lewis is going to be battling us. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Snome. Now, if you guys don't know what Snome is, it's a bug and ice type Pokemon that you can actually find at Route 8. Right before you come into, uh, what was it? Uh, Sir Chester. Uh, Sir Chester. And, well, it does evolve into a very powerful bug and ice type Pokemon eventually. I think I sent one over to this version right here. So, I think I've already got that covered right there. So, look at that. We defeated them. And our Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. And, of course, Lewis has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is that with this guy. Now, the mission is to actually get to the next area right here. And... Okay, so now we got that. Now we got to go straight forward, and crap baskets on the crapsicle stick. We did not get that one right there. So, there we go. And maybe go right here. And there we go. That's one down, and we got two more to go. And as many of you guys already remember, the last one's usually the hard one because we are in fog this time. And look at that. We... <laughs> We're only falling one time right here, so this is good, good. Now, let's see. I could go right here. Let's see. we got to find the rocks right here. So go straight forward. Going right here. And going up. And to me, it's hitting me hard. Okay, so we can't go backwards. we got to go right here. And this thing is hitting me hard, so we gotta step back and go straight forward right here. And yes, we are gonna find another trainer. Gym Challenger, I'll freeze you and your Pokemon solid and shatter you into tiny pieces. No, you won't. No, you won't. So here we go. Gym Trainer Liana wants the battle, and she will be coming out with her Cloyster. Look at this guy. Now, Cloyster is both a water and an ice type Pokemon, so. That is something that you need to guy you guys need to be uh, aware of. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the smack it down, and of course, Cloyster's going with its razor shell, quadruple damage onto Krakatoa right here, and yes, that lowers our defense. So we gotta make this one stick right here. So here we go, laying it the smack it down, and Cloyster has been uh, well has been plastered right there. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna switch up our Pokemon because. Yes, one defensive uh, Foley right here for uh, Krakatoa. One more hit, and it's already gone. So here we go with Blitzkrieg, and here comes a Razor Shell. Not so effective. Alrighty, Overdrive for the win. Let's get it. Overdrive does its thing. Cloyster is no more. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. So that is that. And everybody survives. Blitzkrieg is learning Boom Burst. And I want to know what this is. This is a special attack right here. And, well, I could. You know what? Let's go ahead and take off Spark. Don't necessarily need it very much anymore. Boom Burst is actually a very good move. And, well, there goes Liana, and she is not so happy. I got smashed into just two side tiny species. It's pieces. Wow. <laughs> Along with my pride. Sounds kind of like Vegeta right there. So, let's move on right here. And I guess... Yes, okay, right here. And we hit the... Well, yeah, we hit a spot right there. Same spot that we hit the last time. Right there. And there we go, taking on another trainer. Now, before we battle this guy, let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon. Actually, we're probably going to need that. And crud. Okay, so I got plenty of lemonade right here. And that does the trick. So, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Gym Challenger, are you aiming to battle Melanie too? Yes, I am. Okay, so here we go. Gym Trainer Alexander would like to battle, and he is going to be coming out with his Bear Tech. Look at this guy. He's got a, I would like to say it's kind of like a, a beard of ice. Probably, I don't know. Let's go with the Heat Crash. And can it do it? Will it do it? And there you go, Bear Tick. 
survives. Holy crud. And, well, here comes an icicle crash. Kind of like heat crash. And... Oh, crud. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like heat crash right here. And, well, let's go with a flame charge just to win. Here we go. Flame crash. Or flame charge for the win. And there you go. What now? What now? Everybody's gaining levels. And Alexander has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. So, we got to go straight for the next one right here. Now, we have to stay away from the rock right there. And... This one will actually lead us right here. And upwards and forward. There we go. Okay, so where are all those spots right there? Look at this. Oh my god. Every single spot that you can actually find. And we actually did the right thing. Now, here's the third part. And this is the fog, the foggy area. So, now we're going to have to actually, like, make do... We rely on these uh, little devices right here. And... Oh, crap. You see, the fog is a little bit thicker right here. I wish I had defog just to... Let's see. Hold on. Okay, so I know where I, where, where I went wrong. That's the... That's the part where I, I kind of I kind of messed up right there. And somebody's saying, don't rush it. You know what? I do what I want. And, well, let's see. Let's see. We're going straight forward. Straight forward. There we go. Holy crud. That, I kind of rushed it right there. So I should probably listen to these people and don't rush this whole thing. I'm trying to look for a trainer, and, okay, I feel somebody is looking at me. All right, let's go. Right here, and somebody is looking at us. Continue forward even if you can't see where you're going. That's Sir Chester Stadium's gym mission. Okay, all righty. So, let's go right ahead and take on M Micah right here. And here he comes out with an Avalug, or Avaluge, Avaluge, Avaluge? I don't know which what to call it. I will use a Pokedex Pro just to figure that out right here. So here we go. Let's go with a Flame Charge. Probably won't beat them just yet, but they beat them just yet, but they will be effective. Avalug right here is a uh, tank of a Pokemon. And here it comes with a Crash Attack or Crunch Attack. Wow, I can't even read right now. Let's go. Heat Crush or Heat Crash. Let's get it. And that right there won't do it just yet, but here comes another crunch attack. It knows it can't beat my uh, my Krakatoa, and look at this. Flame Body does its thing. It's finally burning this guy. And, well, let's go ahead and uh, do another Flame Crash for the win. Yeah, buddy. Flame Crash does its thing. What now? Okay, alrighty. And, well... We got two level ups, of course, Bielzaman, growing to level 44, which is great. And this guy's like, just like you want because you believed in your Pokemon, believe in yourself and move forward. Okay, all right. Inspiring words from an inspiring man and good gravy. Hold on just a sec. Um, oh, yeah. I, 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 I think I've told you guys before that I hate wires because they always tie up to something here. Okay, so let's see. We're in front of this guy. So we're going to have to go this way. Good God, we really can't see. At least with the at least with the rock type gym, they give us a, like a little bit of a uh, of vision right here. Holy crud. Okay, so if I see a rock Okay, I was about to say if I see a rock that will actually lead me to the next spot. And well, can't go there. I see a spot. Okay. And let's see, we are, there we go, and we got to find another rock right here. This rock will lead us to the other path right here, so there we go, and let's see, uh-oh, god dang it, so I fell again, and you know what, I'm not really feeling comfortable right now, hold on just a sec guys squeezing myself right here okay there we go so let's see where we have to go we have to go find this hole and there we go find the other hole and we are in a big rock right here so there's a rock right there now we have to go right here and that spot is not the right spot let's see so let's go right ahead and there we go 
straight forward. And there we go. Look at that. Now we can see. Oh my god. Woo, that was a gamble. Okay, so right here. Right here. And look at that. We've completed the mission. Oh lord. So we've fallen two times onto this spot right here. Look at that. Look how many holes you can actually find. Jesus criminy. And well. Now it is time for us to actually take on the next gym leader, or the fourth gym leader, or what was it, fifth, sixth gym leader in uh, Sir Chester. Of course, we're playing shield version, so we're going to have some fun with this ice type gym leader. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, jump up to the, well, get to the very top right here, because, uh, yes, we are the champions. And, <laughs> yes, it is time for us to kick some more butt. So here we go, gym mission cleared. Let's walk in the door to our people right here, and look at us. Okay, so... That's right, we're walking, we're doing the strut right here, the pimp walk strut. That's right. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back, everybody. That's right. And, well, here we are going into the Sir Chester shield version of, uh, of the gym. And we're going to be facing Melanie, the ice-type gym leader. And, as you can see, she has poofy hair and is thick as f you know what. I am Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a, t uh, a team of ice type Pokemon. You, you aren't sore. You aren't all, uh, sore all over from falling in the hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that, we'll see. Well, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. Oh damn. Okay. So, let's get it started right here. Here it is, guys. Gym battle number six, shield version. And we're taking on gym leader Melanie, the ice-type gym leader. And, well, she is going to be coming out with Frostmoth. As you guys can see, Frostmoth is a snow... Is a, uh, yeah, snow myth or whatever it's called. Uh, it's evolutionary Pokemon right here. And this Pokemon looks majestic AF. So, let's go right ahead and get this hail going on. Of course, we're going to be slow. But I think I got this covered right here. Go ahead, hail. I don't care. We're going to beat you. So, here we go. Heat Crash for the win. And there goes Frostmoth. Oh, yes. I'm feeling it right now. Everybody's growing levels, including Drago. And, well, we're still buffed it by the hail right here and she's gonna be coming out with Darmanitan and well we're just gonna keep it simple let's go with Krakatoa and of course we're taking on Alolan Darmanitan ice type Pokemon still strong AF so let's go right ahead and use another heat crash or heat crash and of course it's gonna be using taunt just to oh yeah just to make sure we don't use heat crash all the time so here we go heat crash does its thing say goodbye to Darmanitan oh yeah so that's two down, two more to go. Alrighty, so who's next? Who's next for Krakatoa? And here she's going to be coming out with an SQ. SQ, of course, is a penguin with, holy crap, a ice cube on its head. Still an ice-type Pokemon. Here we go. Heat Crash for the win. Finish it. And, well, here comes its ice face, and because of that, it saves it from getting uh, fainted, and as you can see, it has a... Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, it doesn't take any damage or anything, but it just loses its uh, big old block of ice right there. And since it did Icy Wind, we lose a little bit of speed, and we're getting hit by hail. So, let's go right ahead and use another Heat Crash. And here comes a Freeze Dry Attack. Wrap Baskets, okay. And, well, let's go right ahead and finish this guy off. Heat Crash does its thing say goodbye to SQ look at that that's a poor penguin person just going down and Krakatoa growing to level 53 alrighty and here it is guys her final Pokemon we shook off the taunt and she's about to send out her Lapras this Pokemon right here is going to be a little bit tougher than usual so what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be switching it out for our good old buddy Blitzkrieg so let's go right ahead and do this alright switch out Let's go with a Blitzkrieg. Oh, yeah. And she's looking at you right now. 
Even if it cracks ice, it's still ice. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, and here she's coming out with her Lapras. Big old mother-loving Pokemon right here. Alrighty. So here we go, Dynamax time, and let's go with the Max Lightning. So here it is, bring him back. Get yourself pumped up, let's get it. Time to grow you bigger. Oh yes, bigger, bigger, and bigger. That's right, guys. Oh yeah. Holy crud, this Pokemon looks legit when it's a Gigantamax Pokemon. And here she comes in with her Gigantamax. I'll let you freeze everything. Oh damn. Oh damn. And here she's hugging her Pokemon and just <laughs> bringing it bigger. And this Pokemon has a new form. Look at that. Lapras and it looks like diamonds are orbiting it. It's pretty crazy. Holy crud. Alrighty, let's do it. Max Lightning Attack for the win. Nearly beats Lapras right here. And now we got an electrical field, so this is going to benefit us a lot right here. So let's see what Lapras does, and it does a Max Geyser water type attack. Here it goes, not for the win. Oh yeah, okay, alrighty. And now we got a little bit of uh, electricity and a little bit of rain. Okay, let's do it. Max Lightning attack for the win, finish it. And yes, that is how the cookie crumbles. What now? An explosion, and there goes Lapras. What now? And because of that, we get more experience points. We are victorious, and look at that. Blitzkrieg returns to his natural form. He's like, yep, easy stuff. And he's playing his guitar, <laughs> and Melanie's not so happy. She's like, I just want to climb into a hole. Well. I guess it'd be more f like falling from here, right? Same same thing that Gordy says, so yeah. Yeah, same shit that he does. So after defeating Melanie, she is going to give you the, the ice badge. And on top of that, she's going to compliment you a little bit. She's like, you, you're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young and such ability is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. And here it is, guys. Uh, ice, ice badge has been obtained right here. Look at that. Oh yes, just filling up on our uh, on our stuff. And of course, we can capture Pokemon up to level 50 now. And well, for some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the le the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? Oh, you have a son. Eh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. So after defeating Melanie, we're going to get ourselves a TM, which is Icy Wind. And, of course, we're going to be getting ourselves the Ice uh, the ice Gym uh, uniform right here. So look at that. We're getting a replica. Look at that. We're getting a replica Ice Uniform. Yes, sir. Okay. So after you get done with the, uh, the gym battle right here, something happens once you're done. Step outside and, well, hello there. Your girlfriend Sonya is like... That battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head uh, let's head to the restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Bob's Your Uncle. Okay, so let's see. I think the next episode we will be going into... Uh, yeah, we will be going into a lot of stuff right here, guys. A lot of, uh, a lot of great stuff. And I think I'm going to be saving that. I'm going to be saving that whole, you know, wait for or find, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Sonya at Bob's Your, Bob's Your Uncle in the next episode. Because there's a lot to get through, including another battle. Again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and this uh, the video right here. In the next episode, yes, we're going to be doing a little bit more thrashing, a little bit more ass-kicking. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.